by a first-year flame, Calgary captured a must-win in Music City. Furlan out front, there's the pass, yeah. scores! Michael Furlan gets his first NHL goal. The Calgary Flames are about to move back into a playoff spot with an outstanding effort against a very good National Predators team. Now propelled to third in the Pacific, the Flames find themselves in the driver's seat as they arrive for a date in Big D. But Sagan and the Stars won't roll over as Dallas still clings to dreams of postseason play. Time is ticking. Only six games remain. Calgary's cardiac kids need to come through next on Sportsnet. Calgary Flames skate away with pivotal points in the Music City Sunday. The Flames look to repeat the feat tonight in Dallas and a shoot down the stars. Question is, can they do it? Always earned, never given. That has been the Flames motto all season as they only have six games remaining. And analytics be damned. Jonas Hiller is going to make back-to-back -back starts. And he'll look to shut down a high-flying offensive team in the Dallas Stars. Alish Hemsky with a two-goal performance the last time that these two teams met, which was a win for the Dallas Stars. We welcome you into our Hockey Central studios for Teleflames Hockey right here on Rogers Sportsnet. Flames and Stars, Leah Hexel along with you, taking you up to puck drop. John Shannon and Rich Sutter will join me shortly. But it has been a very busy month of March for these Calgary Flames. Tonight will mark their 15th game of March, and they're going to be playing in back-to-back. -back. So busy as always, and no one's busier than our Roger Millions. We head to American Airlines Center. And, Rog, here we go. The Flames are playing their third game in four nights and it's all on the road, but that doesn't seem to be a problem for the Flames this season. Well, they've been good on the road, no question about that. And they're looking after their 21st victory of the season tonight away from home. Yesterday, they crossed the 20-win threshold on the road, and that's significant. The first time in five seasons, the Flames have won at least 20 games away from Scotiabank Saddledome. Second time in eight years, very important. And also being important has been the play of Yuri Hoover. He was a three-point man yesterday afternoon in Nashville, a goal and two helpers, 69 points in the season, 21 points in the month of March. How could he not be the player of the month? And we'll find that out likely on Wednesday, tomorrow the last day of the month of March. And the Dallas Stars, they come into this one finally at home after a five-game road trip. They did very well on the trip. Problem is they didn't gain very much. They're still behind the wild card spot, the last one held by the Winnipeg Jets. They need to win tonight. They need to win in regulation, and they need a whole lot of help, and they know it as they start this homestand here in Dallas. Leon. All right, Raj, and yes, I am joined, as promised, by John Shannon and Rich Sutter. So here we go, the third and final meeting between the Stars and the Flames tonight. And you just heard Roger mention, John, Yuri Hoodler, how good he's been in the month of March for this team. But there's been other players chipping in as well. Indeed. In fact, both teams played so well, you know, no lineup changes from both of, their, both of these teams when they played their last games. Both of them wins. To me, though, the guy that really has made a difference and seems to be doing this all the time is Lance Bowmeid. He has a remarkable season. In my 16 goals this season in 74 games. He had six in 124 prior to this season, and that's the difference. He's made a commitment off the ice in training in the offseason in Vancouver. He's made a difference on the ice. His hand-eye coordination has improved, and he's become a core guy for this hockey club. He's understood what it's like to be a good professional hockey player at the most elite level in the game today, and he's done that with willingness and open arms to go back to Vancouver in the last two, three summers to work with the Brennan Gallagher's father and Brennan himself and Milan Lucic, and these three guys are buddies. They push each other hard every day in the summertime to, to be where they are today. And a credit to him, and I would expect maybe someone like Michael Furlan might be following that right along. It's a good guy to be an example from. Richie, the other thing that Boma and every member of this Flames team knows, you win and you're in. Keep on winning, keep on winning this whole thing. The rest of this road trip, the homestand coming up. And then it becomes simple. Well, they're playing in back-to-back, -back, and they are looking for back-to-back -back wins for the first time since mid-March. Can they do it in the Big D tonight? Well, they need to. As John just mentioned, they got a win to stay in. We're going to American Airlines when we return. TELUS Flames Hockey. Brought to you by TELUS. The future is friendly.
Welcome back to American Airlines Center, Dallas, Texas. Game three of this critical late season five game road trip for the Flames. We check our starting goaltenders brought to you by Intact Insurance Company. Proud to partner with the Calgary Flames. Jonas Hiller goes back to back. He stopped 27 to 29 yesterday in that big win in Nashville. At the other end, it's the workhorse, Kari Letton and the Finn, his 11th straight start. He's won five in a row against the Calgary Flames. Chris Russell will start this game on the ice for Calgary. He is closing in on the all-time single season shot block record in the NHL. He's at 269. Anton Volchenkov as an Ottawa Senator years ago set the record at 273. So we'll keep an eye on that. It may fall tonight as we're underway in Dallas. Control on the forecheck. Letting out of the goal. Plays the puck up the boards. Hoodler can't cut it off. Weidman did, but it's cleared out by the Stars. A little too far. Might be ice, and they're going to wave it off. That top line for Dallas starts the game, and they head off on a change as Russell has the puck deep in his own zone. Dennis Weidman now at center. Fires it into the opposite corner. Trevor Daly, second game back off an injury for him. Feeds it up the boards, and it's played out the center ice by Eves. Over the line, there's a shot. They score! Jason Spezza, 40 seconds in, makes it 1-0 Dallas. And lots of speed through the neutral zone. Daly just with the puck. Pass up to Eves quickly to Spezza and tons of speed through the neutral zone. He backs up Brody because of that speed and just a wicked wrister. And that beats Jonas Hiller right there. Top club. That was just a terrific rush by Spezza. I like the fact that he's shooting early, not looking to pass, which he often does. Eves and Daly get the assist, and the Flames are down early in this one. John Shanna talking about how good Dallas is in the first period. They're the mirror image of Calgary. And they have a lead in the first minute. Daly back to a puck in his own zone. Cut off by Anglin with a shot. Stopped out by Letton and kicked out front. Puck played to the line and outside the zone as Anglin got that shot away. He scored his first two goals of the season five days ago against the Dallas Stars in Calgary. And the Flames dump it back in. Letton out of the goal will stop it behind the net. Colborn pressures. Puck played up the boards, chipped to the line and out by Richie, where Marcus Granlund, who was out due to illness last game, gets back into the lineup for Calgary. He's out there with Colborn and Mason Raymond. Granlund in for Josh Durr. Shot off the far side, goes through the slot, out the other side. Diaz tries a shot that missed the net. Schlemko will fire it behind the goal for Colborn. Joe Colborn in the corner, turning from pressure, bumped by Horkoff. As they chop away to puck in skates, it comes to Raymond, back to the line to Diaz, across to Schlemko, he shoots into traffic, that goes just wide. Loose at the side of the goal, cleared to the boards by Demers. Granlin tied up by Demers, Raymond comes in to help. Gets the puck free, Diaz with a bit of room, shoots, put it high, puck bounces off the boards into the corner. Good shift for Calgary after coughing up a goal. Demers plays it up the boards and it's tipped off the wall and out the center ice. That's the way to come back after getting scored on for a little bit of pressure. In fact, they had a couple good chances. The one by Diaz, Lettinen didn't see. T.J. Brody at his own line. Long pass tipped in wide of the goal. Racing back to it is Golagoski. Garbutt chips it outside the line. Anglin will get it near his own blue line. Over to Brody. Back to Derek Anglin. Fourth line out for Calgary. Very good game in Nashville oh. yesterday. Drew Shore, Michael Furlan, Matt Stajan in the middle. Furlan got his first NHL goal playing on this line yesterday. And here they come. Stajan to center ice. Plays the puck deep. Furlan on the forecheck. Letting it out of the goal. Will sweep the puck to the corner. Cut off by Shore. Bounces high in the air. Nobody knows where it is for a second. And finally it's corralled by Klingberg, the leading rookie defensive scorer in the NHL. And the overtime goal. And Dallas's win on Saturday in Vancouver. Matt Stajan tips the puck back in. Goligoski races to it. Pressured by Stajan, who knocks the puck off the stick of Goligoski. Gets to it on the far side. Almost gave it away to Lance Boma, but it's played out the center ice by Jamie Benn. Hit by Boma at the bench. Puck loose in front of the Calgary bench. As Boma gets control and slides it into the Dallas zone. Stars have control. Eakin fires it to an open wing at center. Russell will put it back in for the Flames. Letnin stops that behind the net. Nemeth played it ahead to Ben, and he'll bring it outside the zone. Flips a soft pass through center. Broken up by Yuri Hoodler. Both top lines out right now. Back with Leighton. His shift chips that on. Goal. Letnin with 
Johnny Gaudreau converging Alex to cover up for a faceoff. And we get a whistle as we check our keys to the game. Brought to you by Budweiser. Great times are waiting, Kelly. For the Flames, duplicate yesterday's game, and maybe they have, Rick. Yesterday they gave up the first goal to Roman Yossi, and they ended up winning that one. And for the Stars, no surprise here. Play with pace. They've already shown that in today's game with that great rush by Jason Spezza. Yossi goal came 6 minutes, 17 seconds into that game. Spezza's goal, his 17th of the year, comes 40 seconds into this one. But the Flames have pushed back with a couple of good shifts. Weidman chases a puck out to center ice. Gives it to Chris Russell ahead to Johnny Gaudreau. Still a point behind Philip Forsberg in the rookie scoring race. But Gaudreau dancing through center. Had a good game in Nashville yesterday, even though he didn't show up on the score sheet. He really did. He really outplayed Philip he Forsberg. Yuri Hoodler. Here's Gaudreau. Now Monaghan carries in. Sean Monaghan sitting on 29 goals for the season. Tried to hit Gaudreau with a pass, never connected. Flames regroup in the neutral zone. McKenzie knocks the puck loose, and onto it is Alex Hemsky. Two goals for him and their win in Calgary five days ago. Former Oiler heads off as the Stars make a change. Four and a half minutes gone here in the first period. Goligoski out of his own zone. Fires it in deep. Racing after it on the far side is Richie. Good play by Schlemko to break up that chance, but he can't clear the zone as he fanned on the clear-out attempt. Puck winds up in the corner. Weidman's there, turning away from pressure, through the middle with a pass, got away with it, and it bounces out the center ice. Raymond lost the puck at the line. Granlin trying to tie up McKenzie. He gets rocked by big Joe Colborne. And the Flames settle things down on their own end. Schlemko fed it ahead to Raymond. He'll turn away from McKenzie and retreat behind the net. Comes out the other side. Mason Raymond, such a good skater through center ice. Raymond will speed over the line. Raymond now the wing with a shot, put it wide. Puck comes to Colborne, plays it back to the line. Diaz shoots, that goes wide of the goal. Demers down low, watched by Stajan. Vern Fiddler now in the corner, plays it behind the net. Yoki Pock is there, up the far side to Roussel. And he'll bring the puck to the line and then try and find Fiddler at center ice. That didn't connect, Berlin broke it up. Pass to Colborne, he was headed off. As the Stars settle things down at their own blue line, Nemeth at center ice. Took a bump from Furlan as he fired the puck in. Brody gets control for Calgary. Derek Anglin there. And he throws it ahead to Furlan with speed to the middle. Drew Shore with him on the rush. Furlan lost the puck as he gained the zone. And has cleared off the glass and out back to the Calgary end. Maybe a little too far. And it is. They blow it down on an icing call on Dallas. Technology and one incredible drive. The 2015 Toyota RAV4. Let's play. About yesterday's win in Nashville, Bob Hartley was saying that they played unbelievably well, generated lots of chances, and gave themselves a chance to stay in the race. Off the draw, Gaudreau just inside the line, throws the puck towards the goal. Here's Russell in deep, missed the puck, might have hit the skate of the referee, and... Took a hard turn to the right away from the stick of Chris Russell as the Stars slide the puck into the Calgary zone. Six minutes gone, first period. 1-0 Dallas. Wybin drops it off to Chris Russell. Long pass up the left wing to Gaudreau. Flips it in, not deep. Sagan took it away and gave it to Goligoski. Alex Goligoski. Through center ice, Eakin chips that into the Calgary end. Wybin onto it, pumped by Ben, but got the puck to Russell. Pass to Flex. He could try to feed it up front. Broken up, and here's Monaghan trying to spring Hoodler up the middle. That was intercepted by Klingberg. Plays it back to the Calgary line. Loose in front of the Flames bench. Gaudreau's there to flip it in, and he'll head off on a change. Klingberg back to the puck. Watched by Michael Backlund as the Stars set up the breakout. Klingberg through the middle for Hemsky. Knocked away from him. David Jones. Broke up that place. Spetzer regroups in his own end and plays it across to Yoki Pack. And now Alish Hemsky will work it in. Eves with it. Hemsky with a shot. Club save Hiller. And he hangs on with 13.02 left in the first period. 1-0 stars. Jason Spetzer with a goal in Dallas. This period brought to you by Toyota. Comfort style technology and one incredible drive. The 2015 Toyota RAV4. Let's play. Scotiabank Wednesday Night Hockey, Toronto versus Buffalo. That's this Wednesday at 5 p.m. Mountain Time on Sportsnet. Here in Dallas, 13.02 left in the first period. 1-0 Stars lead and an early goal by Jason Spezza. 
who wins the faceoff in the Calgary zone. Back to Demers at the line. He'll wire the puck behind the net. Picked off by T.J. Brody. And the Flames defenseman plays it back up the boards. Demers keeps it in with a shot. Hit traffic in front of the goal. Backhand shot by Eves. Goes off a stick and out of play. Lindy Ruff continues to do such a good job the second half of the season here with the Stars pushing them. Doesn't seem likely that they can make the playoffs, but they've won 10 of the last 13. They're still making that good push. The loss in Edmonton last Friday sure hurts, and they re rebounded well. Vancouver winning on the Klingberg shot in overtime in Vancouver, but that was a tough loss in Edmonton. It was, and, uh, you know, just so difficult to make up ground. And yeah. so many examples. Talk about Dallas, Colorado going through the same thing. But they have been rolling. The good news for the Flames, even though they're down 1-0 in this game, is that the Stars are a much better road team this season than they have been at home, oddly. Very poor at home, in fact. Here's Sagan at the line with a shot. That deflects into the corner. Chris Russell goes to it. Plays the puck to the board. Spezza got tied up. Or, pardon me, Sagan got tied up with the official. The Flames wind up with control. Here goes Weidman to center ice. Monaghan backhands it in. He'll head it in the forecheck. As Demers goes to it in the corner. Monaghan throws a hit. Johnny Gaudreau comes in to help out. Puck played to the line and chipped out by Jamie Benn. High in the air. Sagan onto it down the wing with a shot up high on Hiller. And he makes the save and he's able to hang on. The studio talked about Klingberg and his impact this season. And here's that overtime goal we were talking about. Saturday beating Eddie Lack right there. His third game winner of this season. For John Klingberg of the Dallas Stars. Impressive young rookie. Only 22 years old and having a real impact this year. It's to the stars. Jonas Hiller has a bit of an issue with his equipment, his helmet. Now they're going over to the Flames bench with referee Chris Lee. See if they can make a quick repair on this. But even though the Dallas Stars are leaving one nothing, it's been a pretty evenly played. Sagan, of course, with a terrific wrister, just like Jason Spezza on that opening goal. But pretty evenly played. I wouldn't yep. say the Dallas Stars had had the, the jump. Well, the Spets goal off the rush, and then the right. Flames had a couple of good shifts right after that. Shots are 3-1 Dallas to this point in the game. I'd say in terms of puck possession, Calgary's had the advantage, too. They've cycled the puck well in the offensive zone. 12-10 left in the first period. Flames will hop on the charter tonight right after the game and head to St. Louis. It's a day off tomorrow. They don't play the Blues until Thursday. And that'll be the fourth game on this five-game trip that concludes in Edmonton on Sunday. Every point critical, as we all know, and both the Vancouver Canucks, whom the Flames are chasing, and the LA Kings, who are chasing the Flames, are playing tonight. So, what a crazy race in the Western Conference, and a great night in the National Hockey League, and Jonas Hiller's had to go to his backup mask yeah. here. This is the one he had for retro night. So we're set to go. Eves wins the make that Horkoff winning the faceoff. Golagotsky with a shot into traffic. Puck never got through to Hiller. Chip to the boards. Granlin's there. But it's taken away. Thrown to the slot. Shot deflected off a stick and into the other corner on the far side. Racing to it is Klingberg behind the net to McKenzie. Curtis McKenzie, the Golden BC native, got it back to the line. Goligoski wires it around to the other corner. Throwing out front. McKenzie couldn't get a stick to it as he was tied up by Diaz. And then he trips Diaz. And he'll be going to the box as McKenzie takes the feet out from Rafa Diaz. And the Flames get the first power play of the game. Eight minutes and 18 seconds into the period. And a smart read by Rafa Diaz to read that play in front of Hiller. The puck was coming to McKenzie and Diaz read that. And then you can see McKenzie get the stick in between those legs of Diaz. And he goes to the penalty box for two minutes or less, depending on what the Flames do on this power play. So, Rick, Flames power play has been dangerous, especially with this line and that down low play that they like, where Yuri Hoodler is just to the left of the goaltender, remains dangerous because he doesn't go below the goal line, stays above it, and for that reason, the goaltender can't cheat. Flames power play 14th in the league. They Stars penalty kill is 22nd, 26th at home. But they get the puck on this, off this faceoff, and Vern Fiddler there to backhand it all the way down the ice. Top unit up there in the power play. Russell and Wyman in the points. Monaghan, Gaudreau, and Hoodler up front. Puck stolen in the Calgary zone, played to the point, but all the way down the ice is Letton and will now clear it off the glass, back to the Flames blue line. Wyman's there. Over to Chris Russell. Minute and a half left in the power play. 
Russell through center ice, works the puck in. Fires it around the boards. Monaghan trying to get it on the near side. Plays it back towards the line to Weidman. Here's Dennis Weidman. Now they get it set up over to Russell. Russell works it down the boards to the corner. Weidman back at the point. Johnny Gaudreau with a one-timer, and that's blocked it away by Lutton, and the rebound corralled by Jamie Benn, who plays it down the ice. Midway through the power play, second unit coming on for Calgary. We approach the midway mark of this first period of play. Chris Russell out of his own zone. Gaudreau still out there. Flips it in, Weidman trying to keep it onside and does. Gaudreau makes a pass to Weidman. Weidman shoots, scores! Dennis Weidman, career high 14th goal of the season on the power play and it's a 1-1 game. And you can see the stick handling abilities of Johnny Gaudreau coming through the neutral zone. Just all sorts of patience and composure and confidence, if you will. Coming right through there with speed, winds his way in there. Gets a puck back on a stick. He spots Dennis Weidman coming in from the point and just a perfectly placed shot. Actually easily beat Lettinen on this play, but Dennis Weidman, one of the better shooting defensemen in the game, picks a spot. And the game is tied 1-1. Drill gets a helper. That'll move him back into a tie with Philip Forsberg for the working scoring lead. Weidman's 14th goal of the season. Career high. Power plays one for one. The game's tied at one. There you go. 10.26 to go in a lively first period here in Dallas. Michael Furlan pokes the puck into the zone. Came outside. He has to tag up now as the Stars go back to it. Jason Spezza, who has the Dallas goal, plays it into the corner to Demers. And now Spezza at center ice. Hemsky works it down the wing. Back out front for Spencer. Wound up going on goal. Hiller turned to the side. And Furland chips the puck to the line. Not out. Played around to the near boards. Derek Anglin gets it there. Gives it back to Brody as the Stars retreat. Brody's able to skate the puck to center. Miss Drew Shore with a pass. It bounces on goal to Lettman. He'll steer that to the corner of Demers. Puck by Drew Shore. Good work by the fourth line here as Shore stole the puck, put it behind the net. Yoki Paka takes it away. Feeds it ahead to Eves and he'll bring it out of his own end. And Eves with a pass to Eakin who chips it in. Eakin trying to get around Anglin. Boma puts a stick on the puck. Eakin still battling. It winds up in the far corner where Sagan gets it. Drops it off to Cody Eakin. Top line out for the Stars. Jamie Benn turning from England. Benn trying to cut out front. Poke checked at the side of the crease. Shot goes off the outside of the net. Penalty coming up to Calgary. Delayed call. Benn shoots. And that's blocked by Jones. He touches the puck. And the Dallas Stars are going on the power play. 9.17 to go in the first period of play. In a 1-1 game, the Flames and the Stars. As Dallas will have the man advantage, we come back to the Lone Star State. Tell us in the Calgary Flames present the We Heart Flames contest. Show your love and post a picture of your flame spirit to Twitter or Instagram with the hashtag We Heart Flames during the broadcast for a chance to win big. Lance Bowman is called two minutes for hooking. You can see the grab right there coming out of the corner with Cody Eakin, and that is the two minute penalty call. First power play of the game for the Stars. And they go to work with a man advantage. Sagan works it across on the forehand over to Spezza. He winds up, doesn't shoot, plays it back to Sagan instead. Now Klingberg. He gets a shot away, stopped by Hiller, got the pad on, a puck play to the boards. Jamie Benn back to the top of the circles. Shot by Sagan was blocked. Michael Backlund got in the way of that one. Sagan. Spezza. Tipped on goal, and Hiller makes the save. Nice stop by Hiller as he comes out to the top of the crease and is able to hang on. You don't see this often. Four right-handed shooters on the power play for the Stars. And the first attempt right here from the dangerous rookie, Klingberg. Hiller read the play nicely. Nice and deep in his net, trying to figure out what's happening. And Michael Backman, the excellent block on the Sagan shot. Stars power play, kind of like their penalty kill. It's middle of the pack. Overall, 26th on home ice. Yeah. And with this talent, sure doesn't make much sense. Sagan with a shot off the draw. Hiller save, rebound, loose, and the puck's played to the circle. Spezza onto it there for the Stars. Works it into the corner. Jason Spezza back to the line to Sagan. Spezza. Slap pass deflected wide of the goal. They tried it again. Now it's flipped over the top of the net by Eves. He missed twice. As they pressure and then cough up the puck, and it's cleared out and down the ice by Matt Stajan. Racing after it, Marcus Granlund. Bumped by Sagan in the corner as the 
Flames will change up on the penalty kill. Here comes Klingberg. Long pass to Hemsky just off the bench. Alex Hemsky with a shot. That goes off the leg of Chris Russell. There's his first block of the game. Puck play behind the net. Winds up in the corner. Richie gets it back to Goligoski. Fires it across to Trevor Daly. Now Alex Hemsky watched by Backlund. Bank pass to Daly at the line. Daly walks the line. Hemsky, high oh. slot, bobbled the puck, and it's knocked to the boards by Russell, who races over to it and fires it down the ice with 25 seconds left in the power play. Pretty simple plan for the most part for the Stars on their power play. Get pucks to the front of the net. They like that redirect in the high slot as well. Goligoski to Daly. Close to being offside, but play continues. Garber can't handle the pass. Daly still in deep. TJ Brody gets the puck off the boards. Nice bank pass to Stajan, but he's having trouble clearing the zone. Now it comes out, out of the reach of Colburn, goes back to the Dallas end, and that'll do it. Penalty over. Boma out of the box. Flames have killed it off. Vern Fiddler works the puck in. Fiddler, the Edmonton native, throws it out front, tip wide of the goal. Back to the line. Yoki Paka with a shot, knocked down with a high stick. Schlemko touched the puck. They blow it down anyway. And I think that was an errant whistle, but play stops. 7.03 to go in the period. So here's what we're talking about with the very simple motive on the power play. Get pucks to the front of the net. And once more, get the high redirect right there. That was the second time on this Stars power play that they had the high slot redirect. Both times it was ease and just couldn't convert. Faceoff will come outside the zone as the ref and the linesman discussed what happened. Shots 8-3 Dallas in a 1-1 game, and Hiller settled down after giving up that goal sure in the did. first shot. Quite a shot, though. I mean, Jason Smith yep. has got quite the wrister, and when he walks in that from that distance, that's a pretty difficult first save to make in the game. Off the draw, Johnny Gaudreau gets the puck and slides it into the zone. Klingberg back, Gaudreau hot in pursuit. Goligoski feeds it up the boards. Puck comes to the line, not out. Wyman kept it outside, no he didn't. They're going to blow it down. On an offside call at the Dallas Blue Line. While well, by shopping at Safeway, Eileen Nan of Redwood Meadows has won a Blu-ray prize pack from E1, courtesy of Safeway and Kellogg Cereal. What a season that Dennis Weidman has had. Now he's only two points shy of his career high after getting that goal a couple minutes ago. So Dennis Weidman continues his terrific play with the Flames. Klingberg out of his own zone. Up to Sagan who tips it in. Hiller's out of the goal. Derek Anglin plays the puck up the boards and this gets outside the line. Maybe too hard. It is. It's an icing call on Calgary. It's Klingberg going back and 6.35 to go on the first. Cheering for any team that can give him a big payday. This is the Sports Select Legends free agent, a real ruthless such and such. Get your game on with tools. Fairly sluggish start, I'd say, by the Stars, other than the scoring in the first 40 seconds. But I talked about the pace in which they normally play. We've only seen a couple of examples of it so far here, Rip. Yeah, they usually, you know, they're a very fast yeah, team that likes are. to send a lot of players down the ice and rushes and you're right it hasn't been that way so far back-to-back -to -back icing calls on Calgary even Jamie Benn and Tyler Sagan we know how fantastic they are as players we've only seen that one real nice play by Jamie Benn so far and not much yet and I guess that explains her woes at home second highest scoring team in the league they give up the fifth most goals as well mm -hmm. in fact the Stars have given up five or more goals in a game 17 times this year. By contrast, Calgary's done it six. So there's wow. an illustration as to why they're on the outside right now looking in in terms of making the playoffs. Even though they've been on a tear of late, the puck comes outside the zone. Jones trying to get there, can't. Eves drops it off at his own line, and here goes Trevor Daly out to center ice. Daly cuts in over the Calgary line, swings wide, tried a shot, that was blocked, and it's corralled by Johnny Gaudreau. Back comes the top line for the Flames. Monahan over the line. Monahan's pass blocked. He gets it back, feeds a pass to Yuri Hoodler. Hoodler back to Schlemko, who shoots, blocked away by Lettinen. Rebound to Gaudreau. Gaudreau, Schlemko pressured. Just kept it on side only for a moment. Long pass to Hemsky. Working in on Diaz. No support though as the rest of the stars changing. And that allows Monahan to steal the puck and clear the zone. McKenzie got the puck in over the line. Horkoff trying to pick it up. 
Tied up by Diaz. Horkoff turning. Feeds it down low, looking for Richie. Checked by Schlemko. Horkoff bats the puck down, and it winds up going off the glass, not a play. Or excuse me, it does not go off the glass. This will be a penalty on Monaghan for delay of game. Stars going back on the power play, and we come back. 1-1 in Dallas. Don't forget to play Safeway's Million Dollars Score and Win. If any Flames player scores five times in our game, then Karen Waite of Red Deer could win $1 million. Shop at Safeway. You could be our next lucky winner right here on Sportsnet. Sean Monaghan in the penalty box for this play right here. The puck is up in the air. He bats at it, and it does not hit the glass first. Goes directly into the netting, so the Stars go on their second consecutive power play. 0 for 1 so far, and they'll go to work here in the Calgary zone. Ben will take the face off against Backlund to the right of Jonas Hiller. Scramble off the draw, puck winds up in the corner, fired up the glass by Wyman. It got to the line, Sagan kept it on side. And they'll set it up, but Spezza copped it up to Backlund. He can't clear it. Good work by Sagan to keep it alive again. Finally, it's knocked out to center ice by Michael Backlund. And the Stars force back into their own zone as Klingberg turns away from pressure. Now it's worked in on the left side. Here's Sagan with a shot. Hit the goalpost. I think it snuck over the shoulder of Hiller and caught metal as it bounces across the crease to the other side. Jamie Benn. Spezza. Klingberg. Klingberg still back to Spezza. Thought about shooting. Now he does, and that goes off Lance Bomo over the glass and out of play. Saw a great example of why Sagan is such a great player and such a Excellent score. What a release on this play. Jason Spezza gets a puck just inside the flame zone and quickly gives it to Sagan and without much hesitation just lofts that puck right over the shoulder of Hiller and off the crossbar. Minute 18 left of the power play. That top unit stays out there for Dallas. Face-off win for the Stars. Puck at the line, played across, Klingberg. Now a chance for Eames with a one-timer. That's blocked by Derek Anglin. And he comes up hobbling as the Flames clear the zone. Klingberg. Bumped by Stajan, who steals the puck. Good job on the penalty kill by Matt Stajan. He's going to tie it up in the corner and try to kill off some seconds. Finally fished free by Jason Spezza. 50 seconds left in the penalty to Sean Monaghan. Klingberg out of his own zone. Drop pass. Spets a hard pass to Ben who tips it in. Hiller's out of the goal. Leaves the puck for Brody. Hard around. Spets able to cut it off. And set it up. But that pass into the skates of Ben. Stolen by Brody. He got the puck to the line. Not out. Kept on side at the right point. Now it's one-handed out by Backlund in a good play. Lance Bulma gives chase. And in behind the play, we've got a penalty coming up. Weidman's down, and the Dallas Stars are going to the box with 3.44 to go in the first. It's not been an easy two games for Dennis Weidman. Yesterday in Nashville, they're hit hard three times by the Predators, and on this one, Richie takes Weidman down. There's no question about that. Bit of a slew foot right there. Slow to get up again. So Richie goes off. We'll get 25 seconds of four on four. And the Flames will get their second power play, assuming there are no more penalties. Talked about it before. The Flames are the top-scoring four-on-four team in the NHL with 14 goals this season, including overtimes. And the face-off is in the Dallas zone. In a 1-1 game, shots 8-4 stars. Granlin takes the draw. And the Europe didn't like that call, but I don't know he has much to complain about, Kelly. No, I didn't think so. Pretty clear. Yoki Pocket will feed it ahead. Hemsky stops at his own line and then drops it off to Goligoski. Wheels out of the zone. Alex Goligoski through center ice. Needs a pass back to Hemsky, making moves on the backhand blocker. St. Hiller, loose puck in the crease. Hiller now, they poke it wide of the goal. Weidman gets control. Granlin now will bring it out. Calgary penalty is over. Monaghan's out of the box, and they're going to blow it down. At center ice with 3.16 to go in the period. There's a minute 32 left in the Calgary power play. And Hemsky does what he does best, stick handling through. Boy, what a great save off the backhand. But Goligoski, I mean, he's just trying to shove Hiller into the net after that play. I understand the puck is alive, but he's trying to force her to shove the goaltender in the net. 
would not be a legal goal. Flames one for one with a man advantage. And here goes Brody out of his own zone. Hard pass to Yuri Hoodler, hopped off the stick. Monaghan able to settle it down. In traffic, Gaudreau trying to get to it now. He's all tied up. Puck winds up at the side of the goal. Gaudreau got it there. Back to the line to Schlemko. David Schlemko tried to feed it through, and it came outside the zone as he played it back in. They're going to blow it down on the offside call. Good pressure by Vern Fiddler on David Schlemko. Put that pressure on him right there, forcing him to make a quick decision. Vern Fiddler has been such a good player for the stars, whether he's in the fourth line, third line, wherever he moves around and just understands his role. Minute 10 left in the power play. Monaghan wins the draw. Weidman fires it across to Russell. And Chris Russell feeds it ahead. Good throw over the line. Knocked off a stick by Goligoski and fired down the ice by Daly. Here's Russell. Now Goudreau. Lost the puck. Monaghan gets control, though. Forced to the boards. Turns in the corner now. Back to the line to Weidman. Across to Russell, who shoots. Glove saved by Lettinen. And he hangs on. 33 seconds left in the penalty. This period brought to you by Toyota. Comfort style technology and one incredible drive. The 2015 Toyota RAV4. Let's play. Harry Lettinen is 9-2 in the month of March. And he's going to make that save every time when there's very little traffic from the flames in front of him. Although Trevor Daly provided pretty good screen there. Brody off the face off, works the puck to the boards, knocked off his stick, demurs in the corner, plays it to the other side, Schlemko pinches, Fiddler gets there first. Mammoth with the puck, plays it to the near side, but Gaudreau is still out there. Gets the puck back to the corner to Backlund. Michael Backlund, bank pass to the other side, Raymond feeds it back to the line to Schlemko. Schlemko with a shot in the traffic, and that hit a body and bounced to the corner. TJ Brody onto it. Gaudreau, Schlemko, Brody, Raymond lost the puck off his stick. Turns along the boards, penalties over, Raymond still with the puck. Here's Gaudreau behind the net. Johnny Gaudreau looking out front. Gaudreau played a pass through, but it hit the skates of Demers who cut it off. Play to the line, not out. Good pressure by Calgary with a minute and a half to go. Just kept on side by Schlemko, and again, they're going to say no. He complains, but it's an offside call in the Flames. Demers with the giveaway from behind the net, and it looked as though, boy, that's awfully close. From our angle up here in the booth, I thought that David Schlemko had kept that puck in. Replay is inconclusive, Rick. It looked like it I made. Think it's, I think it was onside, but yeah, it was very call. difficult to tell. Yeah, you know what? In, in a way, as, as a linesman, you're almost better to err on the side of caution. I would agree on this with place. that. Yep. Goligoski with the puck. Long pass up the far wing, and here goes Spezza over the line, feeds it out front. That goes off a skate behind the net. Derek Anglin takes it away. Big defenseman fires it out the center, out of the reach of Michael Ferland, blasted back in by Hemsky. Killers out of the goal, and. Penalty coming up. It's a high sticking call. And it's going to be against Calgary as Klingberg is over at the bench. And he's getting attended to from the Stars trainer right now. He's taking his helmet off. And Michael Furlan goes to the penalty box now on this high sticking penalty. He's disappointed in either himself or the call. Let's take a look. He goes in to hit Klingberg right there and just gets a stick up. So the Stars go on the power play with a minute six left here. Third of the period. There are five power plays in this game already. Third one for Dallas, two for Calgary. Stars are 0 for 2. Just over a minute to go. Three shots on their two power plays so far. And it's Ben Spezza. Eves up front. There's a shot off the draw by Sagan. As he works one point, Klingberg on the other side. Flames get the puck. Russell fires it down the ice. As we get the final minute of play in the opening period. John Klingberg, 22-year-old Swede at center, drops it off now, and here come the Stars over the line. Ben to the slot with a shot off the stick of Russell over top of the net. Boma bumping Sagan, but Sagan winds up with control. To the circle, shoot, scores! Tyler 
Sagan on the power play. And it's 2-1 Dallas. This goal is just all about the Stars' entry into the flame zone. This is about as efficient as it gets. Klingberg comes up the ice, drops it back to Spezza, and instead of entering the zone right there, just a cross scene pass right to Ben, and they all converge to the front of the net. Then Sagan gets his opportunity, and a screen right there from Weidman, and one of the best releases in the game. Low blocker side, just above the pad. I've said it many times, that's one of the most difficult saves for a goaltender to make if, if it's accurately shot. 35th of the season for Tyler Sagan. So the Stars get a goal in the first minute of the period and the last. And have a one goal lead. 24 seconds of counting left in the first. Granlin onto the puck. And he gets it out. Picked up at center ice. Played to an open wing. Derek Anglin there for Calgary. will dump it in. Colborne on the forecheck as Lettman leaves it for Daly. Puck comes to the point to Brody. Tried to fire it on goal. Hopped off the stick to center ice. And he'll play it ahead to Colborne as time ticks down. First period comes to an end. So Spezza made a 1 0. Weidman tied it up on the power play, and then Sagan restoring the lead for the Stars. 2 1. Dallas leading Calgary through 20 minutes. Back to the studio. Here's Leah Hextall. Back at Dallas, Texas, as we get set for the second period face off American Airlines Center. Stars up 2 1 in the Calgary Flames. Check the scoring summary, Kelly. The Stars score early and late. Spezza gets the early one, his 17th, 40 seconds in. And Dennis Weidman scores 1 1 about halfway through the game before Tyler Sagan scores late in the period on the power play. Now, we have to go back to this goal at the end of the period. Was this offside? This is about as close a call as you'll make. For, it's hard to determine on that one, especially. Now, we've slowed it down on this frame here. It looks as though, actually, if you're a frame back, it looks as though it's okay. There, it looks as though it's offside. It leads to the goal, but I just want to read something from Section 10 in the rule book concerning game flow and offside rule on page 120. A player is offside when both skates are completely over the leading edge of the blue line involved in the play. I don't know if that really showed it conclusively. Yeah. It was very, very difficult. Well, you can see what Bob Hartley right. thought right there. It's interesting though, just second before that, at a play right. at the other blue line that was called offside that we didn't think was, we suggested that linesmen are better off to sometimes err on the side of caution. Agreed. Didn't happen that way. Close call. As in close. they come. Here's a chance out front for Seg. And blocker away by Hiller. Early chance again in the second period for the Dallas Stars. With a 2-1 lead. Ben throws a hit, knocks down Goudreau, looks back for a penalty. He's not coming. Klingberg at the line. He'll wrist one towards the goal. That goes off the stick of Goudreau into the far corner. Connor Sagan took a bump from Weidman. Monaghan gets the puck around the boards. Not out. Klingberg kept it on side with a shot. Hiller didn't see it until the last second. Sagan dropped it off. Shot by Spencer goes over top of the net. Off the glass and out of play as the Stars with some early pressure in the second period. And the Sagan-Ben combination heating up. I thought they were a little bit slow to get warm in the first period, but Right about now, start early in the second. They are clicking right now. Enter the zone here with speed. Quick pass over to Sagan, great wrister. Right there, and then Spezza with the next chance right there. And that's deflected out of play. Off the draw, shot goes off a stick and over top of the net, and again out of play as Hemsky pulled the trigger that time. And he was in terrific shooting position right there. A quick draw by Spezza right to Hemsky, left his position on the far boards and came right in the slot, and that was deflected out of play as well. This time back on beat Spets on the draw. Brody winds up with a puck, and he'll bring it to his own line. Pass through center, deflected to the near side. Lance Boma there to flip it in, along with help from Backlund. Nemeth will try and clear. He's run over by Boma on a good check. Backlund gets the puck. Here's Boma on the wing with a shot. Glove saved by Lettinen. They haven't gone wide, but he stuck out the big mid and hangs on for a whistle. You see this every single game. Lance Boma making his presence felt with big hits. Physical play has always been a part of his game. And he separates Nemeth right there from the puck and does his job as we were used to seeing. Colborn and Horkoff in the faceoff circle. Flames win the draw. Raymond gets the puck and shoots into traffic. It bounces to the slot, knocked away by Horkoff. 
and fed to center a little too far for Richie. This will be an icing call. No more. I will. They're going to wave it off, but they blow it down. The faceoff will go back to the other end. The Stars have been incredibly hot the last 13 games. 10-3 and 0 in those games. Scored four plus goals in eight of those 13 games. Albeit it seems unlikely that they're going to catch the teams above them for a playoff position, but give them credit. They found a way to manufacture enthusiasm in this difficult time. Richie off the faceoff gain center ice. He'll chip it in, try and get a rush slump, though he does. Richie got a shot away. Pat saved by Hiller. Rebound into the corner. McKenzie plays it back to the point. Demers on the boards with a shot into traffic. Hiller's able to find that through bodies and stick out the glove and make the save. Great energy shift here by the fourth line of the Stars. So what they have to do, compete for pucks, and Richie does a great example of it right there. Just chips it past Schlemko, and then wins the one-on-one -on -one battle right there. Gets a pretty good chance on Jonas Hiller. That's a difficult play for a defenseman when a guy with speed just chips it by a three, four feet, and then picks up his own loose puck. Off the draw, Fiddler gets the puck himself. Back to Demers, shot high. Garber to it on the far side. Antoine Roussel watched by Matt Stager. Roussel leaves the puck for Fiddler in the corner. Backhand shot blocked by Anglin. That shot got through, but it whistled through the crease. Demers plays the puck on the right side to Roussel. Skates it back to the line, then gave it away to TJ Brody, who bats it out the center ice. Cut off by Roussel. They chop away in the neutral zone. Furlan fed it across. Drew Shore dumped it in. Letting it out of the goal to feed it to the corner. Furlan trying to get it there. Bumped by Garbutt. Got the puck to stage it out. Brought the pass in the skates of Furlan. Comes back to Matt Stager. Michael Furlan checked by Fiddler behind the net. Weidman to it. Threw a shot towards the goal. That was blocked by Demers. And he'll bring it to center ice. Demers flips it in. Then turns to the bench as the Stars make wholesale changes. Two and a half minutes gone in the second period. Chris Russell behind his own net. Flames changing up front as well as Russell finds Michael Backlund. Backlund out to center ice, gets hooked by Eakin. No penalty on the play as the Stars take the puck away. Jamie Benn works it in all by himself. Stops along the boards, watched by Chris Russell. Benn turns, wires it down low for Sagan, missed the puck. Comes on the near side to Eakin with a bit of room and a shot blocked by Wyman. Eakin shoots again, Wyman blocked that one too. Good work by Dennis Wyman. Now Lance Bulma chips the puck ahead. He'll head in in the forecheck. Lettman leaves it for Klingberg. Bulma on his tail. Klingberg makes a play off the boards. Tyler Sagan in his own line will feed it to Goligoski up on the rush. On the left side to Ben. Ben with a shot. That's blocked by England. Shot again blocked by England off his stick over the glass. Now to play. Calgary's known for the Flames and the Rockies. Let's take a look at what's happening at the Rockies' best resorts. Flames will have to be aware now every time Ben and Sagan are on the ice because they're feeling it right now and Jamie Ben has shown us that speed and that grit that he has. And power too, that movie made out of the corner in Absolutely. the first period. There's a shot that goes up into the face of Nemeth. I think it's caught up in his visor. It is. <laughs> like a pirate. He was a pirate wearing an eye patch for a second there. Iron matey. Okay, I wasn't going to laugh. And then He's when okay. he started yeah. laughing, then it was okay because it's Certainly something very dangerous that could have happened right there. It's very rare a play like this happens where it just hits flat into the player's face and doesn't cut him. Gets lodged in there. Pretty good to see the smile from his face. Just needed the pair out of the shoulder. <laughs> Jack Sparrow playing for the Dallas Stars. Gary Hitler through center ice. Flips it in off a stick. Nemeth stays out there. Gaudreau gets the puck, keeps the play alive in the offensive zone, but hands it away to Spezza, who clears. Back to the Calgary line, Chris Russell onto it. Watched by Hemsky, Russell's pass blocked. Weidman gets control, long pass to Monaghan, works it in. Sean Monaghan feeds it over, put it behind Hoodler. Weidman to it with a long shot, turned aside by Lettinen. Daly up the boards. Hemsky trying to get it out, tipped it ahead, and it's bad at the center ice. Diaz settles it down near his own blue line. Russell. Colborn. He's checked at center. Russell gets it back. Out there with Diaz right now. Diaz ahead. Granlin will give chase into the offensive zone. Raymond with him in the corner. Tied up by Richie. Colborn trying to feed it out front. That went off somebody to the far side. And it's carried out the center ice by Sean Horkoff. 
Now Richie with a one-timer off the boards. That goes over top of the net around the wall. Kept in at the far point. Diaz knocked that one down. Puck played to the slot. Cleared to the line. Not up. But Yoki Paco with a shot that's blocked in the slot. It goes right to Colborn and he finds Granlund at center ice. Granlund carries in. Diaz up on the play. Granlund down the far boards. Took a hit in the corner. Colborn trying to get the puck behind the net. He's checked there. Richie will flip it ahead. Look out of Roussel with a bit of room. Roussel right in. Glove saved by Hiller. And he's able to hang on as Antoine Roussel came in off the right side. All alone on Jonas Hiller makes the save. For an excellent pass for his own zone right here. Just recognize that Roussel is in behind the Flames defenseman Schlemko and just lofts it in the air. Catches it and from the off wing. That's a very dangerous save and a better save by Hiller. Clever play though. Spring is his winger. Burn Fiddler again, able to get his own face off. Chases the puck into the corner, bumped by Stage and Garbutt puts the puck to the bottom of the circle. There's a shot from a sharp angle that Hiller turns aside. And Brody works the puck out, gave it away at center to Garbutt, who flipped it back in, not deep. TJ Brody settles it down. Cross for England, he'll have to pick it up off the boards. Drew Shore checked at the line. Fiddler played it ahead, that rush broken up, and here's Drew Shore through center. Three flames work it in. Furlan's out front. Shore with a shot. And that's a glove save by Kari Lettinen. With 14.31 to go in the period. The Stars starting to take over the second period. And they're doing such a great job in the neutral zone. This is one of the rare chances where the Flames are able to take the puck through the neutral zone with authority. Shore with the wrister right there from well out. But they're really making it very difficult for the Flames to get their speed up through the neutral zone and doing a nice job playing their structure. Monaghan facing off against Cody Eakin. Who wins the draw for the Stars. Flames crash behind the net and steal the puck though. Gaudreau gets it back to Weidman. Fakes. Now he shoots into traffic. Put it wide. Puck comes to Sagan who clears the zone off the glass and out. Racing onto it is Eakin. Ben with him. Pass to Ben. Turns in the circle out front for Eakin, broken up on a smart play by Gaudreau. In the right spot to intercept that pass and flip it outside the zone. Six minutes into the second period. Klingberg, the rookie, plays it across to Alex Goligoski. Jamie Benn chips it in at the end of his shift. Russell goes back to the puck behind the net. Dennis Weidman, long pass up the far side for David Jones. Did he touch it? They're going to say no, and it's an icing call on Calgary. Johnny Goodrow with a good defensive play. We always talk about how smart he is in the offensive zone and how creative. Well, this one, he doesn't get lost in the defensive zone. Stays with it, recognizes Ben can do something creative as well and doesn't leave his man Eakin in front and then intercepts that pass, flips it out of the zone. Off the draw, the Flames able to clear. Goligoski back at his own line. Plays it across to Trevor Daly. Nemeth out of his own end. Got the puck in. Russell broke up that rush and cleared it. Daly. Hemsky back to Daly. Shots are 16 to 9, Dallas. All the scoring so far in the first period. Alish Hemsky. Stops just inside the zone. Pass deflected by Russell. Right to Backlund. He'll work it back the other way. Trying to spring Palma. Stolen the line by Spezza. Spezza with numbers. Spezza out front. Tip wide of the goal by Eves. Standing alone at the top of the crease, but it went wide. Here's Hemsky with a pass out front, blocked by Brody. Alish Hemsky gets it back. Plays the puck into the corner. Fed back to the line by Spetzer, but Yoki Paka had moved over, and it goes all the way down the ice. Fortunately for the Flames, I don't think Eves expected that pass from Spetzer. Here they come again. Horkoff fires it across. Out of the reach of Ritchie. Joe Colborn turning on the boards, and he's able to clear as he flips the puck to center. Demers knocks it down. Quickly over to Yoki Paka, blasts it right back in again. Brody tipped it ahead. Bouncer to Raymond. Flames having trouble getting the puck out of their own end here. McKenzie tied up by T.J. Brody. Horkoff gets the puck out from McKenzie right in. Shot blocked by Anglin. Good stick by Derek Anglin. Marcus Granlin gets the puck. Off the boards and out the center ice. Jason Demers right back in as he fires it around. Burn Fiddler plays it back to the near side. Stars changing though. Raymond plays it back to Brody. 
Again, they can't get it out. Fiddler steals the puck. Top of the circle. Feeds it down low. Garbutt cuts behind the net. Back to the line to Klingberg. Klingberg shoots in the traffic. Pad saved by Hiller. Off his left leg to the boards. Burn Fiddler onto it. Klingberg across to Goligoski. He shoots. That goes wide. All stars right now in the second period. Fiddler forced back to the line. Kept it onside. Goligoski shoots again. Stopped by Hiller. Played back out front. Klingberg barely knocked it down, but he did. Kept the play onside. Antoine Roussel. Alex Goligoski. Goligoski indeed. Cuts behind the net. He'll wait back there. Burn Fiddler on the boards. Flames are out of gas. Bet off the bench with the shot. Club saved by Hiller. And Bodie does all he can to backhand it down the ice. It's an icing call on Calgary. And I bet everything I own that Bob Harley will call a timeout here, Kelly. Yes, indeed. They are dog tired. It started with this play by Spezza intercepting that puck from Backlund. And just the patience right here. I don't think he's thought that Spezza is going to make this play to him because he was wide open to the side of Hiller and just couldn't handle that pass. And then the last beautiful glove save off of Ben Jonas Hiller. Terrific glove save. We've seen a few of those. We had two of them last night that were spectacular. And Bob Hartley, you're right. There's the timeout. They were in trouble. The Stars had hemmed them in the, their own zone for a while now. It's been all Stars for the last, well, basically the start of the second period for nine minutes now. They've really turned up the heat. They've improved their pace. And they've been strong on down low plays, puck battles, everything you want in the zone. Flames need to find their legs here. Back-to-back -back games, three and four nights on the road. It's been a battle today. Yesterday was nearly, I don't know if you can say a perfect game, but Close. a well-executed game, yes. They controlled that game. Absolutely. Pretty much start to finish, even though they That's fell behind. Right. They were the team that dictated the Absolutely. tempo. Right now it's the Stars. Yep. It's still just a one-goal game. Granlin facing off against Cody Eakin. And the Flames win the draw. And again, they have trouble getting out, but do. Raymond chips it ahead, taken away by Daly. Quickly back the other way. Ben deflects that in. Derek Anglin to it. Up the boards to Joe Colborn, and he'll skate the puck to center ice. Colborn works it over the red line into the zone. Joe Colborn down the wing all by himself with a shot up high, and Lettman makes the save and hangs on. 10.47 to go in the second period. Dallas 2 and Calgary 1. Tell us Flames Hockey on Sportsnet. CP Goals for Kids is proudly sponsored by Canadian Pacific and its 2,700 railroaders based in Calgary. For every Flames goal this season, the railway will donate $250 to Kids Sport and the Flames Even Strength Program. Keep scoring Flames and help CP build stronger kids and stronger communities. And tell us Flames hockey continues later this week, Thursday, from St. Louis. The Flames have a date with the Blues, 5.30 p.m. Mountain Time on Sportsnet West. Thank you, Roger. 10.47 left in the second period. 2-1 Dallas leading. Flames facing off in the offensive zone with their top line out there. Monaghan trying to win the draw and does. Gaudreau works the puck to the corner. Throws it out front. Penalty coming up to the Stars. Hiller races to the bench for the extra attacker. Here's Chris Russell. He shoots. Hit. Hudler up front. Bounces off a defender into the goal. Yuri Hudler banks it in on a delayed penalty and it's a 2-2 game. So Golgoski really involved in this play. Couple of negatives. There's a hold right off the face off, right in front of Lettinen on Hoodler. And then Russell gets a puck back, throws it to the front. Hoodler throws it to the front of the net, off Golgoski again. And that beats Lettinen through the legs. And we have a tie game, surprisingly, Rick, after the yeah. way the Stars have dominated the first 10 minutes of the second period. A shot that would have made Willie Moscone proud. <laughs> a bank <laughs> shot bank by your yeah. 70s pool sharks for a thousand, Alex. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Jack Sparrow. <laughs> now billiards. Wow. And that looks like it's offside, and it is. They blow it down. Hemsky stepped in early. 10 13 to go. Second period, another winner in our score and a win. Lynn no uh, Noah Sad of Calgary shopped at Safeway on behalf of Safeway and Kellogg Cereal. Lynn, you've won the Hoover Air Cordless Vacuum. Congratulations, Jerry Hoodler with his 29th goal of the season. So he's tied now with Sean Monahan in goals this year. 
And a career season for Yuri Hoodler as well in every category offensively. Absolutely. We'll take another look. Russell just gets that puck through right there. And you can see the puck go off Golagoski's arm, I believe. It kind of rode up his stick and off his arm and through the legs. Once again, we talked about a resilient team, the Flames. Jonas Hiller has done a really nice job this second period, closing the door, keeping the team in it. TJ Brody, long pass up the far wing for Jones. Doesn't connect. But Lettinen comes out of the goal. It was going to be an icing call, but he cut it off. Here's Backlund in the corner up front. But Bulma tipped it on goal. Lettinen made the save. Jones jabbing for a rebound that never came. And we'll get a whistle in the, Cal in the uh, Dallas zone. When we come back, 9.54 to go. Second period, Flames have tied it at two. For every Flames hit this season, Jamin donates $100 in the fight against multiple sclerosis. Join the fight versus MS at Jamin.com. CHL playoff action, busy, busy, busy. Tomorrow, 8 p.m. Mountain Time on Sports at East Ontario and West, the Brandon Wheat Kings and the Edmonton Oil Kings. The Wheat Kings leading that series two games to one. Thank you, Roger. Yuri Hummer gets his 29th goal. It's his 22nd point in the month of March, which leads the NHL, and he does it in his 600th National Hockey League game to tie this game at two in Dallas. You're good, Rick. You beat me to it. Did I get it all yes. in? <laughs> Diaz fires the puck around. Colborn steps into the Murs. Flames have a lot more jump all of a sudden as the Stars had control this game in the yep. first seven, eight minutes of this period. Calgary pushing back here. And back on even terms. Ryan Garbutt will work it out of his own zone. Fires it in out of the reach of Fiddler, and he's offside anyway as the whistle blows. Just how valuable has Yuri Hoodler been for the Flames here in the month of March? Well, I think those numbers pretty much tell you everything about the success he's had here and why he's such a valuable member for the Flames in this rush or this push to the playoff position. Absolutely terrific season for Yuri Hoodler. Bob Hartley again this morning at the hotel is talking not only about his on-ice contributions, but how he's been such a great leader off the ice and especially helping the youngsters on his line, Monaghan and Goudreau. Russell almost caught the puck up behind his own net, but able to clear out the boards and the Hoodler chops it out. Here's Monaghan taking a pass from Goudreau. Monaghan down the wing. Monaghan shoots up high and letting him makes the save as he fights that one off. Flames top line looking for another goal here. Goudreau cross-check in behind the net. The puck goes to the other corner to Hoodler. Back to Goudreau with Monaghan out front. Johnny Goudreau played it off the back of the net to himself, but it's broken up on a good defensive play by Alex Goligoski, who feathers a pass ahead, and out comes Jamie Benn now. Benn down the wing. Stops in the circle with a shot through the legs of the defender, Russell. Stopped by Hiller, and Monaghan will pass it to Goudreau. Cross ice for Hoodler late in his shift. Took a bump with the red line, and Monaghan has to clean things up for Calgary. Here's Goudreau with a bit of room. Puck a little too far, though. He'll get chased into the corner as the flames start to change. Monaghan's still out there, though. Monaghan up the boards, turns along the line. Monaghan with a shot, put that wide. Derek Englund onto it as he pinches. David Jones in the corner now, trying to kick it behind the net. Jones makes a play to Lance Bulma, or make that backland back to Brody. Brody shoots, that goes off a stick over the glass, not a play. It's amazing what a goal will do. Isn't that the truth? It's been all flames now the last couple of minutes. Now Scott Cherry, the linesman, accidentally gets hit by the puck right here, and then it allows the flames this opportunity, the cross ice pass to Monaghan. He breaks in, and it's a pretty good chance, letting in at six foot four, though from that tough angle is most likely gonna make make that save. Cherry threw his arms up in the air after getting hit. He knew that obviously accidental, but sometimes they will get in the way. Michael Backlund off the draw with a shot, and that's turned aside by Lettinen. Puck comes up the far boards, kept in by Diaz as he kicks it down the wall. Boma comes in to help. David Jones now pinned by McKenzie. Jones still battling, strong on the puck, gets some help from Lance Boma. Jones back to Diaz. Diaz with room. Diaz making moves. Diaz in tight, cuts behind the net. Wrap around, scores! What a goal by Rafa. Diaz makes it 3-2 Calgary. And Patrick Nemeth, Stars defenseman, is furious after this goal is scored, but we're gonna see Diaz walk in from his point position and show tremendous patience and stick handling ability right here. So you can see Nevin is trying to get his stick out 
and it's caught up into the body of Lance Bomer right in front. There's Nemeth trying to reach. And Diaz has nothing but an open net right here. Lettinen caught far too much to the left and easily slides that into the open net. And we can clearly see Nemeth and the reaction he had after the goal. Second of the season for Diaz, and it was a beauty. And the Flames have their first lead of the game. Bird Fiddler gets the puck in his own end. What a turn of events, nice. Rick. Quickly, too. Yeah. Complete 180 in terms of momentum. And it all started with Yuri Hummer with the second goal for Calgary. And now the Flames have all the jump. And back they come. That rush broken up. Drew Shore drops it off to Derek Anglin. Pass for stage and fails to connect. And it's a nice and call on Calgary with 7.03 left. In the second period, another winner, Julie Simington of Airdrie entered score and win has won the Lagostina 10-piece cookware set courtesy of Safeway and Kellogg cereal. I go back to about a month and a half, two months ago when Bob Hartley started experimenting with Diaz on the second unit on the power play. And boy, has his confidence grown. He's been a much better player. And now we see the results. Off the draw, the Flames clear the zone following that icing call. Goligoski with a long pass that failed to connect. They're going to blow it down, though, as Sagan hustles in to take it off. But the Flames wind up with the puck. Backlund skates it out. Pass blocked. He gets it back. Flips it in. Bounces right to Letton and scoops that up like a shortstop. And hangs on for a whistle. Once again, Bob Hartley finds a way to get something out of this team when it seems as though they've lost all their energy and they don't have their legs and just continues to push all the right buttons and make line changes if need be and finds a way to get something out of these guys. Scramble draw, puck goes behind the neck, give away to Russell. Chris Russell cuts in deep. Russell out the other side, back to the line. Weidman shoots, stopped by Lettinen. I'm not sure he saw that, but he was in the right spot as the rebound bounces to the Stars, and Goligoski backhands it through center. Klingberg's up on the play. Check by Weidman at the line. Puck played deep. Alish Hemsky in the corner. He's hit by Weidman. Hemsky down. Monaghan gets the loose puck off the boards and out for control. Might be a two-on-one with, with Hoodler. But uh, good job there by Trevor Daly to come over and break up the rush. Giveaway now. Spets it in. A fun shot by Richie Pat. Save Hiller. Backhand pass. Hiller cut it off. Puck loose. Flames break out. Johnny Gaudreau got it over on the right side. There's a shot off the wing and Lettinen makes the save. Rebound off the outside of the net as David Jones was taken down. Things really opening up here in the second. Pace has picked up. Guys that weren't skating as well in the first and early in the second now are. Daly shot blocked by Schlemko. Michael Backlund. Lance Bulma leaves the puck for Diaz. Played it ahead. Jones end of a shift tipped it in. Bulma hits Daly on the end boards. Richie comes in to get the loose puck. McKenzie trying to clear. Can't get it out. Joe Colborn backhands it around. Lettinen stops it behind the net. Nemeth in the corner. Gave it away to Granlin. He's checked. Puck comes free. Richie feeds it to McKenzie, and he'll chip and chase into the Calgary end. Coaching the final five minutes of the second period. As Diaz gets the puck to Mason Raymond just inside his own line. Nice play to Granlin. Has Colborn with him. Schlemko as well joining the rush. There's a shot on goal. Letna makes the save. Yoki Paka gets the rebound. He's pressured. Raymond steals the puck. Colborn now in the corner. Cycles it to Mason Raymond. Raymond back to the line for Brody, but pass was out of his reach. He'll have to chase it into his own zone. Cleared it up. Raymond couldn't get it. Fiddler does. Dropped it off to Demers. Over to Yoki Paka. Ahead to Roussel. Now Brody. Hard around, near side. Picked up by Matt Stajan. Stajan carries through center ice and dumps the puck in. John Klingberg to it. Now a long pass to Tyler Sagan. Hopped off his stick. Chris Russell has it. Quickly ahead to Stajan. Can't handle the pass. Gets it back at center ice. Now Russell again. Over to Weidman. Dennis Weidman through center. Flipped it in. Furlan just out of his reach. Goligoski takes control. Klingberg now out of his own end. Klingberg through center with speed. Works the puck in over the line. Dropped it off to Sagan. He's clobbered by Furlan. The Flames turn it back the other way. 
Erie Hudler dumps the puck in for Monaghan. Monaghan with Hudler up front. Here's a chance and a great goal by Johnny Gaudreau. On a beautiful feed from Sean Monaghan, Gaudreau puts it top shelf and it's 4-2 Calgary. This line just has a way to ignite everybody else. Started with the Hoodler goal to get it to 2-2 and then just the entry right here. Monahan spots Goudreau high in the slot. Everybody on the stars converge on Hoodler, thinking he's the dangerous guy and forgot to take a look around and Goudreau just sneaks into the high slot and wires that shot right there and beats Lettman. Second point of the night for Goudreau, his 22nd goal. He's now past Philip Forsberg again. And the Dallas Stars are making a goaltending change right here. We'll get to that in a second. On behalf of Safeway and Kellogg Serial, Kim Baker of Calgary is one of Bradley four burners, stainless grill. And so Johnny Goudreau forces Kerry Lettinen to get out of the game, and Jonas Enroth comes in here with 346 left in the second period. Lettinen's been unbelievably good last month for Dallas Stars, but this wasn't his night. Four goals on 19 shots. So in comes Enroth. Who came from Buffalo for Anders Lindback in a third round pick, middle of February. His numbers aren't all that good here with the Stars, but he did play extremely well for Buffalo. In a tough situation for a goalie with Absolutely. a team struggling. Boy, he had a couple of great games versus the Flames. Here's Spezza working the puck in, wires it around the boards. Ease behind the net to Jason Spezza, who opened the scoring. This game 40 seconds in. Backhand pass deflected to the blue line. Hemsky just kept it onside. Anglin muscles off, or muscles Eves off the puck and lifts it to center ice. Almost knocked down at center by Nemeth. Stars bring the puck out of their own zone. Three minutes left. Second period, Nemeth gets it in. But it goes off a stick and Dallas goes offside. Johnny Gaudreau, leading rookie scorer in the NHL once again. Makes it 4-2 Calgary, late second period. We'd like to remind you Safeway's featured participating product for tonight's game is... Kellogg Cereal. Also a reminder, KPMG is pleased to be aligned with Matt Stage and Michael Backlund with their player matching programs. KPMG will donate $100 for each point Stage and Backlund earned this season to the charity of the player's choice for the Flavors Foundation for Life matching these donations. Thank you, Roger. Inside three minutes to go in the second period. Here's Erie Hoodler. Two on one with Gaudreau. Hoodler with Gaudreau out front. Drops it off. Monaghan gets a shot away. And I think Enroth got a piece of that. Gaudreau gets the puck down low, but he's knocked down along the end boards. And McKenzie able to settle things down. He fails to connect with Klingberg on that pass. And the Flames get control again. Tipped back in by Monaghan. Not a rustle. They got a lot of promise. But the puck was rolling on Hoodler. Yes. And he never really was able to make a good pass. I think he's waiting for a training Whoa, defenseman as well. Up high on Monaghan by Ritchie. And that's going to draw a crowd as Sean Monaghan took an elbow up high. Ritchie came in across the blue line and caught the... Flame center, who's not happy about it. And referee Chris Rooney's going over to check on Monaghan. Rooney immediately had put his arm up in the air. There's no question oh. about this play right here. That was, it looked nastier on the replay. It did. That is intentionally going for the head right there by Richie. Seemed like almost a butt end, Kelly. Yes, a very, very close. Yeah. Thankfully, Monaghan's not hurt worse. That could have been really ugly. And we take a look at the reaction from Bob Hartley, of course. That's a dangerous play. That looked to me that that was an intentional shot to the head to a player that was vulnerable. So Brett Ritchie is probably lucky he only gets two minutes after seeing the replay. And the Flames go on their third power play. They're one for two. And a chance to build on a 4-2 lead late in the second period. 
And Monahan's still out there. Good to see as he faces off against Vern Fiddler and wins the draw. Pulls it back to Russell. Now Monahan back to Russell, but the puck comes outside the zone. Was Gaudreau, pardon me, who made that pass, and he has control at center ice. Forced back by Roussel. Gaudreau skates away. He'll wheel through center ice. Over the line, Gaudreau. Turns along the boards. Nice pass to Russell. Has to pick it up off the wall and put it down low for Yuri Hoodler. Hopped over his stick. Yoki Paka coughed it up to Hoodler. Jamie Ben there and he'll clear down the ice. Nine shorthanded goals by the Stars this season, so you got to be careful if you're Calgary, especially with a two goal lead. Minute 20 left in the power play. There's Gaudreau. Got the puck in over the line. Like it was close to being offside, but play continues. Gaudreau will set up on the right side. Nice pass to Wyman. No, it was tipped out. It looked like it was going to be a great chance for Wyman to unload, but good work by Eakin to get a stick in the way. I'll say he read that pass really well. Mason Raymond through center with speed. Golagoski can't get it past Raymond. Over to Brody with a one-timer. Stopped by Enroth. Rebound in the slot. Backlund. Weidman. Michael Backlund got there ahead of Garvin. Final minute of the play in the second period. The Stars try and clear. Can't. Flames steal it back. Raymond across to Brody off the boards. Slap pass intercepted by Demers. Cleared all the way down the ice. 25 seconds left in the power play. 45 left in the period. David Schlemko. Mason Raymond. Drops it off for Schlemko. Roussel got in the way of that, up, that pass. David Jones gets it up front. Brody. Here's Jones tipping it on goal. Rebound put wide by Backlund. Great chance there. Final few seconds of the power play. Schlenko keeps the play onside. Puts it behind the net. Penalty's over. Richie's out of the box. Flames are one for three. T.J. Brody gets to the puck in his own end. Tipped in by Stajan. Daly watched by David Jones. Alish Hemsky on the boards. As the final seconds tick down, and a solid second period for the Calgary Flames comes to an end. Norris Enroth makes an unbelievable save on this Flames power play chance right here. Brody gets it at the point. Jones goes to the front of the net to flex that, and Bathlin can't bury the rebound right here. But if not for a great save by Enroth on that deflection of Jones, this could have been a 5-2 lead going into the... Second intermission. Three second period goals for the Calgary Flames, and they lead in Dallas 4 2 through 40 minutes. Back to the studio with John Shannon and Rich Sutter once again. Here's Leah Hextall. Back at American Airlines Center, Dallas, Texas, where we get set for the third period face up. Calgary Flames up 4 to 2 as we check our scoring summary brought to you by Panago Pizza. Before, during, or after the game, get a fresh Panago. Three goals in each period. Spetsa again for the Stars in the first, and then it's all. Flames three goals in the third or second period to put them up 4-2. Well, how dangerous has the Monaghan line been versus the Stars in the last five days? Last Wednesday, this is Johnny Gaudreau scoring. And then tonight, the line continues its hot play. Yuri Hoodler completes this play right here, bank shot. And then Johnny Gaudreau one more time. That wicked wrister for his 22nd. And are they going after him now? Well, there's Brett Ritchie going after Sean Monaghan. Maybe we'll see a little bit more of that. Trying to take away how effective that line has been. That was a late power play for Calgary. They didn't convert, but boy, they turned the tide in that second period. The first half of the second period was all Dallas. And then the Hoodler goal, that bank shot you talked yeah. about, Kelly. And for the second half of that period, it was all Calgary. And Dallas had no fight back. Nothing. Nothing. No pushback. Nothing. It was a strange turn of events. Derek Anglin dumps the puck in. Klingberg back to it, plays it to Goligoski in the corner, and he gives it away at the line. And it bounces off a skate. Cody Eakin gets it outside the zone, and it's dumped in by Jamie Benn, who will head into the forecheck, the former Kelowna Rocket in the Western League. The Flames get it around, not out, kept on side by Klingberg. Klingberg winds up, shoots, club save Hiller, as he makes an early stop on the third and hangs on. Doris Hiller makes a nice glove save off Klingberg, and it's been a pretty familiar theme. Start off the game, though, Spetzer with that ripper right there beats Hiller high to the glove, but after that, he's been perfect with a number of great glove saves. And then 
Through traffic, Klingberg gets a puck through and another terrific glove save by Hiller. Common theme the last two games for him. Flames had a chance to get it out, but it hopped off a stick. Here's Eves, drops it off. Hemsky shoots up high. Hiller takes it off the chest. And the puck slides outside the zone. Monaghan with Gaudreau, two on one. Here's Gaudreau, the pass deflected away and a good defensive play by Daly. Not a stick in there to break up that opportunity for Calgary. Flames get it back though. Monaghan, pass out front, nobody there. Puck comes to Wyman. He shoots deflected on goal and Enoff makes the save, squeezes the pads and freezes the puck. That was a little bit like Al McKinnis in his heyday. Dennis Weidman right there. The fake is always going to go on net and then changes it the last second, just rolls the wrist right over and spots Colburn in the high slot for that deflection. That almost sneaks through the legs of Enroth. Spoken like I might have seen that move by Al McKinnis a few yeah, times. Yeah, I have. Once again, I made a lot of those guys rich. <laughs> I knew what they were up to, I just couldn't react to it. Puck goes down the ice right to Hiller. No backhand it to Diaz, who scored a beautiful goal in that second period, the second of the season. As the Flames clear the zone. Antoine Roussel. It was rapidly, I don't want to say becoming, because I think he's already there. <laughs> he's become one of the better pests in the National Hockey League, Kelly. And here he comes down the wing, but he put himself offside, backing in over the blue line. He's got 135 penalty minutes this season, which is fifth in the league. He was third last year in pins. It seems as though every team has a pass or two now, right? It's the way that uh, the elimination of fighting for the most part, and you need guys still to do some of the dirty work. Ryan Garbutt as well. Winnipeg native, Ryan Garbutt. Face off in the Dallas zone. Shore. Loses the draw. The puck goes to the crease. Enroth covers up. We'll do it all over again. Now we'll see if Dallas Stars, because they have been playing so well as of late, if they can just sort of forget about that last 10 minutes of that second period and start to attack and use the speed that they're known for and try and generate some offense here and get back into this tilt. But the Flames are in an awfully good position right now. Top line out for Calgary. Monaghan will face off against Cody Eakin. And Eakin wins the draw. Klingberg gets the puck. And out comes Eakin to center. Pass for Ben. Deflected to Weidman. Russell. That's out of the reach. Oh, it was for Hoodler. Pardon me. I thought it was for Monaghan. But Yuri Hoodler had snuck in behind. And he fires the puck in and around. Goligoski. Off the glass to Jamie Ben. That's deflected to Gaudreau. Hoodler's out front. Gaudreau tries to get it there. Can't do it. Hoodler gets the puck in the corner. Fires that off the arm of the goaltender Enron. Weidman plays it down low for Monaghan. Pass out front for Hoodler. That's deflected out to center ice. Top line buzzing again for Calgary. Now they're changing. Monaghan just kicks it in and heads to the bench himself. Shots are dead even at 23 apiece. John Klingberg with the puck. Now Nemeth center ice. Fires it deep. TJ Brody in the corner. Pressured by Hemsky. Plays it around the near side. Eves took a bump from Ferland. Hemsky throws a pass out front. That's deflected. Daly gets it in deep. Cuts behind the net. Left it behind. Eves gets the puck back to the point. Nemeth fires it across. Spets a slap. Pass deflected just wide by Trevor Daly. And Drew Shore gets the rebound and clears over the head of everybody. Not quite hard enough for ice and Calgary makes wholesale changes. Just past the three minute mark of the third as Daly wheels out of his own zone. Here's Roussel down the wing with speed. Try to feed it up front, puck rolled, and he fanned on it. That shot by Garbutt whistles through the slot. He's picked up on the far side by Yoki Paka. Drops it off to Burn Fiddler who cuts behind the net. Fiddler out the other side. Back to the line. Yoki Paka with a high shot that misses. Roussel knocked down by Schlemko. Anton Roussel back on his feet with the puck. Pass deflected away by David Jones. Kept in by Demers. Behind an effort, Fiddler tries to jam it in short side. Hiller now makes the save. Fiddler gets it back. Hiller's lost his stick. He's able to pick it up. Shot comes through and scores. Jonas Hiller was picking up the stick, and Demers finds the back of the net to make it a one goal game. Fern Fiddler does a nice job to blow the goal line right there, coming out from in front to wrap around, can't convert, 
and Jonas Hiller loses his stick right there. He's trying to get him, pick it up, and he's a little bit deep, but there's a high slot deflection that he can't react to. Demers, the shot right there, and that changes direction about seven feet in front of Hiller. You see where the stick is knocked out of his hand right there, and he can't react, get out deep, far enough. Caught maybe a little bit deep. Stars claw back into this one. Long way to go. 16 minutes left in the third, and it's 4-3. Suddenly the Stars have some life. Long pass intended for Sagan is deflected, and they go offside at the Calgary Blue Line. Introducing the new BF Goodrich KO2 tire. BF Goodrich. Take control. Ryan Garbutt gets the goal. With the deflection, there he is, Ryan Garbutt, number 16 for the Dallas Stars, with his eighth goal of the season. Demers with the assist on that shot from the point. Jamie Benn picks up a helper as well. Really, it's great work by Vern Fiddler, though, that started that whole play. Playing steel down low, it's played out front, out of the reach of Gaudreau. And Alex Hemsky turns it back the other way. Hemsky cuts over the line, lost the puck, got it back, and it's knocked off his stick by Hoodler. All the way back into the Dallas zone. Hemsky with speed. Feed to the head to Goligoski. Plays it back up front. Tip wide of the goal by Alex Hemsky, who's bumped by Chris Russell down low. And there's Drew Shore to clear the zone. Yuki Okipaka back to the puck. Watched by Michael Furlan. Enroth just tried to draw a penalty, and how is that not diving? Furlan didn't make contact. I'd like to see that again to see. It almost looked like Enroth actually reached out right. and pushed Furlan and then Went to the ice himself. Let's take a look at that. We get a stoppage. Meantime, the Stars back the other way. Here they come over the line. Roussel with the puck and the shot. Hiller save. Rebound. Hiller stops that too. And he's able to hang on. Couple of good chances for Dallas. Looking for the tying goal with 14.58 left in the third. Well, let's take a look if Furlan does make contact or if it's Enroth that initiates this play. And well, I think they both go yeah. at it. There's no question. Furlan's leg does hit the leg of Enroth and the Stars come back into the flame zone. Good pressure there. Jason Demers leaves his point position leading the rush going right to the front of the net. Trying to create a little bit of traffic. I think we got it. Enroth you're right. Is there a it, wash? It, it's a wash. Okay. As he reached out Furla did clutch over his foot so. There's a shot off the draw that whistles just wide of the goal. Lots of traffic in the crease too. Cody Eakin onto the puck. Watched by Russell. Now Jamie Benn behind the net. Out front for Golagoski. Missed him with a pass and it goes all the way down the ice. And we're off out of the goal. Klingberg in the corner. Too far for Jamie Benn. And it's an icing call on Dallas. Five and a half minutes gone. Third period. Well, we're not sure if Garbutt actually deflected this. It may have hit Michael Backlund, there's the shot from Demers. And oh, I think that does hit Backlund in the ankle. Might have been a double deflection. It's hard to tell from there. See if Garbutt gets it. No, I think he just jumps in the air. Garbutt. So maybe change back right now, though. It is his goal. Yep. Furland chasing the puck into the corner. Taken away by John Klingberg, and he'll feed it out to Jamie Benn with speed through center. Klingberg up on the rush. Here's Sagan. And Benn off the outside of the post. Klingberg trying to jam it in. Loose puck that flex off the body. And it's steered to the boards by Derek Anglin on a good defensive play for Calgary. Lance Boma back the other way. Boma, wrist shot up high. Enroth makes the save, and he hangs on. So the Stars using their speed now, heading up through the neutral zone. Jamie Benn, tons of speed. Sagan gets a puck. Throws the puck at the net. Now Klingberg, the defenseman, he's up on the rush again, just as the previous rush where Demers was there. So the Stars, no pun intended, but they have the green light now. Green jersey. I, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> well, you didn't look at me. <laughs> it just fall off the turnip truck. Come on, guys. <laughs> I, mean, I made a Willie Moscone reference earlier. I, don't, I, can, I understand the green light thing. Puck <laughs> shot in by the Stars. They try to work it out front, loose in the circle. Corralled there by Hemsky. His pass intercepted. Raymond tipped in the line, and Colborne's able to chop it outside the zone. 
Right back in they come. Spezza has ease out front. Spezza cuts to the middle of the shot blocked by Diaz. Raymond to the puck. Taken away by Hemsky. Battle ensues in the corner. Patrick Eves. Watched by Diaz. Hard pass back to the line, and Daly couldn't keep it on side. Has to regroup. Trevor Daly, bank pass. Spezza gets it in. Feeds it through to Roussel with a shot up high. Puck goes over the net around the boards to the line, and finally out all the way down the ice. And it's an icing call on Calgary. 13.03 to go in the third. Jonas Hiller trying to keep his team in it. He's under siege right now. And the Dallas Stars with the big push right here. And we can expect that Hiller's going to be pretty busy here for the remainder of the third period. Much the way the Flames goal in the second gave them life. Yep. This goal by Dallas in the third, suddenly they're applying pressure. They woke it up. Vern Fiddler, for the third time, wins his own faceoff and a shot for the point. Goes wide on the goal. Joe Colborn in the corner. Lifts it out on the backhand. Jason Demers to the puck. Circles the net. Watched by Stajan. Yoki Paka ahead to Antoine Roussel. In with Fiddler. Pass hit Fiddler. Bounce to the corner. Fiddler gets it on the far side. Try to shot. Blocked by Stajan. Puck bounces towards the goal. Lost it for a second, but it's covered up by Jonas Hiller, who hangs on with 12.31 left. Third period. 4-3 Flames leading in Dallas. Let's check our crunch of the game. Brought to you by Old Dutch Foods. Quality lives here, and sharing starts here. And once again, it's Lance Bulma. That big hit on the Swedish defenseman Patrick Nemeth separates him from the puck. And led actually to a scoring chance by Bulma. Threw that one to the net. Seventh leading hitter in the NHL, Lance Bulma, coming off a two-goal performance last game in Nashville. He has an assist tonight in Dallas. Flames up 4-3, 12 and a half minutes to go in the third. Connor Sagan facing off against Monaghan. Sagan wins the draw. Goligoski tries a shot. That whistles wide. Onto the puck is Klingberg. Played it to the corner. That pass broken up by the Flames. And Yuri Hutter lifts it out to center ice. Goligoski knocks it down. Hard pass. Racing onto it. Sagan with a shot. Rolling puck back to flex off the stick and out of play. Intact Insurance Company, proud to partner with the Calgary Flames. Flames got to start skating again, Rick, and start getting pucks deep. That is when they are at their best right now, a little bit on their heels, and they're in their own zone a little bit too often right now. Macklin facing off against Sagan. Pardon me, Spezza on the faceoff circle. Some work on the ice right on the dot. Shots are 29-24 in favor of the Stars right now. Now we're set to go. Jason Spencer open the scoring in this game. 40 seconds into the first period. Wins the faceoff here. Klingberg on the boards. Backhand pass to Spezza. Feeds it to Hemsky. Alex Hemsky cuts behind the net. Played it back to Goligoski. He'd moved over. Look out. The Flames chasing after a loose puck. Jones bumped. That allows Hemsky to get ahead of him and take it away. Klingberg back to Goligoski. Through center. Tipped in over the line. Backlund takes it away. David Jones at center ice. Ran into Goligoski. Gets the puck into the zone, but the Flames are caught offside, and the whistle blows. The face off outside the blue line, 11.42 to go. When you talk to people around the Dallas Stars organization, the number one thing they talk about with Klingberg is patience with the puck. And we've seen many examples of that here. And at 22 years old, can you imagine a guy having patience like that? Very rarely does he panic with the puck. Can you imagine three, four more years with more experience? Absolutely. He's certainly not getting as much Calder talk as Aaron Ekblad is in Florida. Or, as I'm talking about comparing defenseman to defenseman here. Here's a pass up front, tipped on goal. Hiller down, able to cover up in the crease. Antoine Roussel with the tip. 
And Hiller with the save. That third line, Stars, really feel like they've ignited this Stars team in the third. Fiddler gets a chance right there, throws it to the front net. Roussel won't go away. Tries to poke that rebound in past Hiller, but this has been a really good line so far in this third period for the Stars. Lots of energy. And earning their ice time. Top line out now for Dallas. Ben, Sagan, and Eakin. Jamie Ben will take the face off. Up against Sean Monahan. Ben wins it. Nemeth works the puck to the corner. Cody Eakin out front. That goes off a leg behind the net. Nemeth still in deep. Sagan backs him up at the line. Jamie Ben with the puck along the boards. He's pressured. Able to fire it back to the corner to Cody Eakin. Weidman watching him. Sagan. Checked by Weidman. Gets the puck back. Works it off the board. Sagan trying to cut out front. Puck comes to Ben. Now Eakin with a backhand. That's blocked. Bands thought there should have been a penalty. Flames work it out. Johnny Gaudreau over the line. Here's Monahan. Monahan shoots. Rolling puck goes wide. Back out front. Pass cut off by Enroth. Flip to the line. TJ Brody shot blocked by Jamie Ben. Brody has to retreat. Eakin takes the pass. He's all by himself. Rest of the stars are changing. Eakin played it out front. In the traffic. Loose puck shot wide by Eves. That's the fourth shot he's put wide of the goal tonight. Back to the line. Yoki Paka bobbled the pass. And he's pressured by Drew Shore. Now there's a penalty coming up to Calgary. It'll be a holding call. The stick call on the Flames. Off goes Derek England and Dallas going back on the power play. And some dangerous chances by the Stars. The first one, Sagan, has it right in the slot. And he's going to try and pass it to Ben. And Chris Russell takes that pass away. And the Stars continue to attack the net. And Patrick Eves with the chance right here. And like you said, Rick, his fourth of the game in which he's just put that puck wide. There is that excellent play by Chris Russell. Sprawling play to take away the pass to Ben. And clear the zone. Fourth power play of the game for Dallas. One for three, four shots. And they win the faceoff and set it up. Goligoski works it across. One timer by Daly into traffic. Never got through. Chipped to the blue line and fired. No. Kept on side. I thought Monahan cleared. Here's Goligoski. Hard pass back to the other point. Hops away from Daly and out the center ice. Calgary Flames are the least penalized team in the NHL. No team has been shorthanded fewer times. But in the last two games against Dallas, 11 shorthanded situations for Calgary. So the Stars. Go back on the power play. Bouncing puck, Russell wires it around, and good job to get it past Daly all the way down the ice with a minute 23 and counting left in the penalty to Derek England. Past the midway mark of the third period. Long pass intercepted by TJ Brody. Back hands it out. Sagan dropping it off at his own line to Klingberg. Back to Tyler Sagan. Watch by Matt Stajan. Passes on the right side. Eve's got it in. Taken away by David Schlemko, and he calmly clears. John Klingberg. Drop pass at the line. Here goes Spezza through center with speed. Into the Calgary zone. Tyler Sagan sets up on the boards. Hard pass to the right side of Jamie Benn. Back to the line. Klingberg tip pass to Sagan. It's deflected by Brody. Sagan plays it behind the net to Spezza. Tied up by Schlemko. David Schlemko, good work on the penalty kill, and he clears it all the way down the ice. 25 seconds left in the Dallas power play. Klingberg out of his own zone. Another drop pass to Spezza at center. Klingberg blows a tire, slides in offside, and the whistle blows. Excellent penalty killing by the Flames. Good reads off each other. We'll see a couple of examples of it right here. T.J. Brody and David Schlemko doing a nice job in their own zone. Here's Schlemko winning the puck battle right there, not giving up on it, clearing the zone. Brody had made a nice play before that. And just excellent defensive play in their own zone. Face-off win for the Flames. Russell dumps it down the ice. That should pretty much do it. Ten seconds left in the power play. 
Chance for one last rush with a man advantage for the Stars. As they, if they get going here, as Daly wheels out of his own zone. Trevor Daly over the line. Daly trying to go coast to coast. Put it wide. Roussel, sharp angle shot misses. England's out of the box. Garber trying to keep it offside. Forced to play it back out the center ice. Flames start a change. Daly back in. And they go offside at the Calgary line with 8.05 to go in the third. Flames four, Dallas three on Sportsnet. They win today. Watch future Sportsnet telecast. And you can win an all-inclusive trip for two to a Grand Bahia Prince of Bay resort courtesy of redtag.ca, where Canada shops for great travel deals. Shop at Safeway today. You could be our next lucky winner. 8.05 to go. Third period, Sean Monahan of the Calgary Flames up 4-3 in the Dallas Stars. Vancouver has won in St. Louis. L.A. is trailing 4-1 in the third in Chicago. A chance to move three points up on the L.A. Kings if the Flames can steer this one home. Top line up for Calgary. Face-off win for the Stars. Klingberg fires that on goal. Pat saved by Hiller. Rebound to the boards. Jamie Benn gets the puck. Back to the line, one-timer fanned on, blocked out front by Brody, and out comes Monaghan to center. Monaghan, two stars collide, but the Flames wind up going offside as Eakin and Goligoski ran into each other at center ice. Great back pressure from Eakin. We've seen that a number of times, and Goligoski thinks he's going to take advantage of it right there, but a poorly timed hip check. Monaghan able to evade that play right there. Eventually went offside, but that was because of the pressure by Eakin on the back check. Derek Anglo with the puck. Plays it around. Demers. Yoki Paka, England pinch it. Spezza. Bothered by Boma. Spezza circles the net. Long pass through center. Bounces away from Horkoff. He'll give chase. Sean Horkoff plays the puck behind the net. Anglin. Taken away by Spezza. Turn, shoots in the traffic. Loose puck to Eves on the back end. Hit the post. Hiller down, able to cover up. Another great chance for Patrick Eves. This time he clanked it off the goal post. And Jonas Hiller hangs on. Eves has had a tough night. He's had so many quality scoring chances. Just can't convert. Gets that one and he's in an attempt to get away from the coverage. It just takes the stride out. Good play, go to the backhand, but puck off the post and no luck there. Often that hits the post, the goaltender and goes into the net. It did hit Hiller, but it went wide. 7.15 to go, top line out for the Stars. They win the draw, second shot goes wide of the goal. Daly up on the play, put it on high. Up high on Hiller, took it off the chest. And he hangs on. 30-second shot at Jonas Hiller tonight. Just earlier, earlier let's see. If Lance Bowman gets a high stick, yeah, right there, the butt end of Jonas Enroth. I think that's pretty easy to see. That was accidental, but uh, nonetheless, there is a reaction from Boma. I think trying to see if he can get a call. Scramble draw. Tyler Sagan gets the puck back to the line, turns and dumps it behind the net. He can bumping with Chris Russell. Jamie Ben there as well. Ben knocked down, looking for a call, doesn't get it. Play stays on side. Here's Cody Eakin up front. Sagan backhand put it wide. Goudreau trying to chop it outside the zone. Daly pinches and gets it to the corner. Dennis Weidman onto the puck. That's deflected. Stays in. Blocked by Weidman. Russell races to it. And it's chipped into the bench by Johnny Goudreau. We get a whistle with 6.40 to go in the third. Pressure by the Stars again. They do a couple of nice jobs of keeping the pucks in. Here, Dennis Weidman tries to clear it. Deflected by Eakin out of the air right to the defenseman. So relentless pressure right now by the Dallas Stars. Flames have to find a way to get out of their own zone. Backlund against Fiddler on the faceoff. Backlund wins the draw. Brody has the puck. Out to Boma. Tip pass to Backlund. Has Jones with him. Boma as well. David Jones passing his skates. Cleared by Goligoski. David Schlemko retreats with control. Brody, back to Schlemko. Intercepted by Goligoski. Backlund got it. Tight quarters. Goligoski can't keep it onside, and it's an offside call on Dallas at the Calgary Blue Line. Michael Backlund 
always a thoughtful player on the ice, recognizes where he needs to be defensively, and one of the leaders in that department. Rarely makes a mistake in his own zone. Somebody that you can trust late in the third period. Right now it's Granlin out to face off against Spezza. Klingberg gets the puck to the line. Granlin's broken his stick, rides Klingberg to the board. Shot from the line is turned away by Heller. Granlin gets a new stick as Colborn gets the puck. Can't clear it past Goligoski. Gets a second chance, chips it off the boards and out this time. John Klingberg plays it in off the stick of Eves. Puck battle in the corner. Spezza out front for Eves. Couldn't get a stick on the puck. Derek Englund does, and he'll skate the puck to the line. Feeds it through center. Long dump in by Granlin on goal. And the Flames make wholesale changes. Five and a half minutes to go in the third period. Flames up four to three. Led four two after two. Ryan Garba with the goal for the Stars to give them some life here in the third. They've had pressure. Have not been able to find the back of the net for the equalizer. Drew Shore on the fourth check. Demers plays it to the other side. Connor Sagan off the boards. Michael Perlman trying to get the puck. Can't do it. It's tied up. And out comes Dallas through center. Up on the play. Demers drops it off. There's a shot by Eakin wide of the goal. Russell plays it around. Kept in by Demers. Dennis Wyden in the corner. Pressured by Sagan who steals. Pass out front. Broken up by Chris Russell. Backlund to the loose puck. He's checked. Stars keep the pressure on. Played back to the line. Took a weird hop over the stick of Yoki Paka. He's forced to chase it back to his own blue line. As David Jones peels off, Yuki Yoki Paka works it out of his own zone. Up to Antoine Roussel with speed down the wing. Roussel turning. Top of the circle. Backhand pass intercepted. Monaghan feeds it ahead. Here goes Yuri Hudler. He's got his 29th tonight. Hudler one hands the puck towards the corner. Nemeth is there for the Stars. Yoki Paka to Vern Fiddler. Fiddler with speed. Down the wing into the zone. Fiddler up front. Pass never got there. Fiddler gets it back. Along the boards, Trevor Daly. He's in deep. Cuts behind the net. Daly out the other side. Turns in the hash marks. Played it up front. Deflected wide. Two stars standing on the far side. Loose puck on the boards. Flames got it to the line. Not out. Roussel can't reach it. Derek England hustles over. Off the stick of Gaudreau and down the ice. And it's on goal. So Enros forced to play it. No icing on the play. Flames have already used their time out on this game. Spets it with a nice move with the blue line. Here's Daly, winds up with a shot in the traffic. He put it high and it goes around the glass and back outside the zone. Lots of traffic. Rick Hiller did not see that shot from Daly. Eves, tip pass. In comes Horkoff down the wing with a shot. Pat saved by Hiller. Rebound corralled. Mason Raymond banks it out. Stars right back in. Pressure relentless. Chris Russell goes to it, leaves the puck for Weidman. Dennis Weidman has some time now, long pass through center. Tipped high in the air, bounces at the line. Colborn got it in, swatted up by Dallas. Might have been caught with a high stick. Play continues as Schlemko gets back to it. Match Stajan, Joe Colborn. Colborn back for Stajan. Stajan in deep, turns in the corner. Waiting for support as he controls the puck along the boards. Plays it back towards the corner. That's cut off. Klingberg took, takes controls. The Stars settle it down. 2.45 left in regulation time. John Klingberg behind his own net. Now he works the puck to the line. Lead pass. Sagan. Here's Jamie Benn. Benn shoots wide. Bounces off the end boards. Brody got the puck to the line. Daly shot blocked out front of the goal by Chris Russell. And taken away by Lance Bormel, who clears the zone. All the way back to the Dallas line. Back one in the forecheck. Forces Demers deep into his own end. Trevor Daly now. Feeds it ahead to Fiddler. His pass into the skates of a teammate. Johnny Gaudreau quick up to Hudler. Yuri Hudler with a bit of room. Hudler on the backhand with a shot. That's the bucket over top of the net. Loose puck to the side of the goal. They jam away. Gaudreau in deep behind the goal. Top line applies some pressure for Calgary, but not for long. Fiddler takes a pass and turns it back the other way. Garbutt carries in. Garbutt swings wide. Knocked away by Russell. Garbutt gets it back behind the net. Roussel into the corner. Bumped by Weidman. Inside two minutes to go. Dennis Weidman, good work. 
Enroth goes to the bench. She's got to get back to the crease. The Flames work it out. Kicked off at center ice. Yoki Paka back in. Spezza on his off wing. On the backhand out. Front deflected away by the Flames. Horkoff gets there. Six skaters out for Dallas. Jamie Ben behind the net. Got it out front. Sagan with a shot. Blocked bravely by Johnny Gaudreau. He goes down. Puck comes to the line. Not out. Kept on side. Jamie Ben to the slot. Pass to the corner. Tyler Sagan drops it off down low. Wyman there for Calgary. Sagan gets it back. Comes out front. The pass deflected by Gaudreau. Ben gets control. Great pressure by Dallas. Here's Sagan with a shot. Hero with the save. And he covers up the rebound. 101 left in the third period. And the Flames are hanging on. Relentless pressure by the Stars. Johnny could roll with two good plays in his own zone. First with a block on the point shot. And Brave right there. He gets that one in the glove area, I believe. And then after that play, the Stars continue to attack. And Goudreau dives and makes a great play to intercept a pass right here. And Chris Russell, of course, battling as well. And Jonas Hiller hangs on for the faceoff. Johnny Gaudreau with a big goal, a couple of big blocks. Dallas Stars use their timeout. He's still get at both ends of the rink tonight, Kelly. Let's see if we get a better look of it. Yes, we do right here. Terrific play. Boy, everybody, incredible desperation. Teammates love it too. They recognize the efforts in his own zone. 101 to go. Face off in the Calgary zone. Six attackers for the Stars. They've outshot, outshot Calgary 14 to three in this period. Backlund against Ben. And there's some confusion. The Stars want to make a late change. Ben Fiddler's talking to one of the officials, Kelly. Yeah, it looks that way. I'm a little bit unsure. There's something by the net now. The uh, linesman yes. has gone by Jonas Hiller to see maybe if there's more snow there. That's now, yeah, Hiller's taking a little bit of that snow and putting it into his net. And the official as well on the other side of the net clearing away the little bit of snow that gathers there. All right. Once again, back one and then on the faceoff. Scramble draw. Stars get control. Daly got it over to Klingberg with a shot. That goes off Bomer. You have felt that one too. Shakes out his left hand. Puck into the corner. Inside the final minute of the play. And a good backhand out by TJ Brody with the empty net. And it's not going to get there. Going back to it is Klingberg. The draw weight by Brody. Perfect, in fact. John Klingberg. Lead pass through center. Cody Eakin dumps it in. Brody back to it. Bumped by Ben who takes him down. Took his feet up. Play continues. Klingberg works it across. Rich shot deflected. Bounces to the other side. Shot wide by Daly. Sagan at the line. Rich shot. Never got it through. And it's cleared to the line. Sagan kept it onside. Good work by Sagan. Here's Klingberg. His pass down low. Intercepted. Brody with an empty net. Out the center ice on the backhand with a shot. Put it wide. After it's back when Sharp Angle scores. That'll seal it. 6.3 seconds to go. Michael Backlund into the empty net, and it's 5-3 Calgary. When you need it most, who comes to the forefront? Well, it's their veteran players, and TJ Brody makes such a great play on this, and he's just going to battle and do everything he has to right here. The Stars try and go and work it down low, and of course it's Brody intercepting that. The backhand, which I was kind of a little bit surprised he didn't score in the backhand, Rick, because he's one of the best backhand passers in the game. Backman finishes it up. We've got another winner in the score and win, courtesy of Safeway on Kellogg's Cereal. Denise Kernahan of Overtokes has won a Garmin VIRB Elite HD action camera as the final seconds tick off the clock. The Calgary Flames have won back-to-back -back on the road. They move 
assuming that L.A. is going to lose to Chicago, and they were losing in this game. And that game in Chicago, the Flames have moved three points up on the Kings in that tight playoff race, Kelly, in the Western Conference. Well, this was an odd game because I think the best way to categorize this is they found a way to win. Wasn't the prettiest victory of the season for the Flames, but nonetheless, Jonas Hiller held the fort in the third period. I'd say they bent, but they didn't break because the Dallas Stars, I think, for the most part, you could say that they were the better team for the 60 minutes, but it doesn't matter. The Calgary Flames scored the big goals when they needed to. And Chicago has beaten L.A. 4-1. That's a final score. Big win for the Flames on the road. They knock off the Stars 5-3. Back to wrap things up from Dallas in a moment.